Hey everybody, so we are here today to talk about figs. So um, a lot of people might not know that you can even grow figs in St. Louis, but you can. Um, but there's a couple caveats to that. So a lot of the figs that are um, ones that you get like at the grocery store, like mission figs and things like that, um, are not going to survive our winters without protection. So if you're wanting to grow those types of figs, you will need to do what we call winterizing your figs. Um, which is what we're going to show you. There are other types of figs, though, that are hardy here. Um, so do not need winter protection to stay alive. But you might still want to winterize them. So uh, like these two figs here, let's see if we can, if we can see them here. Uh, so we got one here and we got another one over here. <clears throat> so these are relatively young figs that have been put in the ground. So these are Chicago hardy. So Chicago Hardy is a cultivar of fig that the roots will survive our winter just fine. Like you don't need to do anything to them. The roots will survive the winter, but the top will almost always die. Now, even if the top dies, they can still grow back and produce figs for you. And so a lot of times, if you don't need like a huge amount of figs, it's a lot less work to just not winterize them. If you have a variety like Chicago Hardy that uh, will survive our winter without protection. However, this wood here that you see right here, if this survives the winter, it will produce figs in midsummer, and then the new growth will produce figs in the fall. And so you will get a much longer harvest if you can keep some wood alive um, over the winter. And so, like I said, you might want to winterize your figs either way. And so uh, there's a lot of different ways to do that, but the name of the game is basically trying to keep them warmer. Uh, because that's that's the issue. It's just we're we're too cold in the winter for the tops to survive. So you want to do something to insulate that plant, um, some sort of nice fluffy material that will insulate. Uh, so we're going to use leaves that we snagged um, from a big old pecan tree uh, as a nice fluffy insulation. But if you know anything about insulation, you would know that if all those leaves get wet when it like rains in the winter, it's not actually gonna insulate that much. So we wanna pack some leaves or something around the plant to keep it warmer, but we also wanna put something then over those leaves that will keep them relatively dry, which will actually help um, keep it warmer and also cut the wind, which will again keep it a little warmer and allow the heat that is naturally in the ground to heat up that space without the wind blowing it away. So we're gonna show two different ways uh, to do that using uh, one way we'll use just leaves and a trash can. Um, and the other way we'll use kind of um, some sort of corral. We're gonna use um, this uh, tomato, <laughs> tomato cage that isn't very good for tomatoes, uh, but it is good for this. We're gonna use that and then we're gonna wrap it with, with a waterproof kind of material. You could use like a pond liner, an old billboard. Um, you could use a tarp, although we don't love tarps because they, they tend to break down pretty quick and just kind of throw microplastics all over the place. Um, what we're gonna use is actually just some leftover uh, tar paper uh, that we had from a roofing project that we did that we are gonna wrap around this to keep it dry. And then because it's gonna kind of wrap up and come to a point, we are just gonna throw a bucket on the top. Um, <clears throat> so those are the, the two ways we're going to show. The first step for both of them though is you will need some string because we are going to tie these up um, so that uh, they're in a narrower space so that they're easier to get something around. So let's get to it. Okay, so you can see the first step here is to tie up the figs so that they stay nice and contained in the insulation structure. Then we put the cage around there, make sure that the figs are going to be in the middle, wrap it with tar paper to keep it dry and to keep the leaves contained. And then we're going to fill the structure with the leaves. Um, we want to make sure it's full, but you don't want to pack them in there. And then once it's completely full with leaves, we just tie the ends there, put the bucket over the top to keep rain from going into the, the middle of the insulation. The other one, you can see we're doing the same, tying up the branches, filling up the trash can, we're just gonna flip it over and that's it. It's pretty simple. It's just keeping the, the figs dry and warm. 